This video will show you how to create part two for activity 1.2.5. Uh, this is what the part's gonna look like by the time that we're done. Essentially is two cylinders, rectangular prism in the middle with some holes in the center. Okay, so we're gonna use the revolve tool to create this cylinder. And then for this one on the top, we're just gonna use the extrude tool. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file. And what we're going to do is go to create a sketch, and then I'm just going to choose this front one here. All right, the first thing you'll want to do is you notice all dimensions here are in inches. So you want to go to document settings and then change the default units to. All right, so we are going to start by making this bottom cylinder right here. And again, we're going to use the revolve tool just like we did with part one. So that means we're going to do half the width because we're revolving it around the center. So half the width, the width is coming from the diameter of this circle, which is up here. We want to do half of 1.25. So that is going to be 0 0.625. And then we want to do the full height of this, which if you look in the drawing uh, right down here is 0.5. We're just going to say zero. We got rid of that. We'll type the base in again, 0 0.625. And then the height is just going to be 0 0.5. Press enter. Okay, so we'll go ahead and finish that sketch. Like we did last time, we will go to revolve. And then all we need to do is just click on this left edge of our rectangle to revolve it around. Okay, and then you click OK. All right, so that's the base. What we're going to add next is this rectangular prism on the top. We'll click on Create Sketch, click on the top of our cylinder, and then we're going to go to Rectangle, Center Rectangle. And then you can see that it is half an inch on either side. So I'm just going to type in 0 0.5, hit tab, 0 0.5, press enter. Okay, and then we'll finish this. And then we're going to extrude this to find the distance of this. It doesn't actually directly give us the distance of this. We need to do 2.5, which is the total minus the base right here because that's obviously not part of this so that is we're at two right now minus the top 0.5 so that means that we need to go up 1.75 okay so up 1.75 press enter okay our next part is to put this other cylinder on top so we're going to click on this new sketch and then i'm just going to draw a circle here at the center, and we can just type in what its diameter is, which is 1.25. Finish that sketch, and then we're going to extrude this. Make sure you click on the circle as well as the square here as well. Get the whole profile, uh, and then this is going to go up. You can see the dimension right down here of 0 0.25. Okay, return to home. The next thing is to put the holes right here on this face. So we'll click on this face and we'll click create sketch. Then essentially we're going to need a line of three holes uh, right here. Okay, to help us with this, you'll notice the holes are centered uh, along the rectangular prism, like right here in the middle. So I'm going to draw a line going to help us with this. So I'm going to go up to the line tool and then over here in the sketch palette window, I'm going to click on this button right here, which is to help us create a construction line. Click on that. And then um, I'm just going to click right here, all the way down here to draw a construction line, a dash line. That's basically just going to help us place these circles in the middle of this rectangular prism. Okay. I'll hit escape to get out of the line tool and then come back over here to the sketch palette and undo uh, construction so that we're just drawing normal lines now. So then we'll go up to the uh, circle tool. 
And then I'm just gonna roughly place these circles where they need to be, and then we'll add dimensions later. So the circles, as you can tell right here, have a dimension of 0 0.25. So place one for here, here for now. So, and then just dimension it 0 0.25. Just keep placing these circles. Okay, so now let's go ahead and dimension them. So using our uh, dimension tool, I'm just gonna start by clicking this line right here, the top of the base, and then going to the center of the circle. And we can tell in our drawing that that needs to be 0.5. Change that to 0 0.5. And then you'll notice that the dimension from the center of the circle to the next one is also 0.5. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll do the center of this, that center that is 0 0.5. And center of this one, that one, also going to be 0 0.5. Okay, so that is done. So we'll go ahead and click Finish Sketch. And our last step is just to extrude these. So we'll go to Extrude. Then I'll click all three of these circles. We just want it to go through everything. So I'll go ahead and drag it there. And then over here under Extent Type, I'll just change it to all to tell it to go through the whole part. Click OK. And that is how you create part two. So go ahead and go up here, click Save. Let's type in part two. You're done.